and today I'm going inside your closet. Earlier this week, one of my new clients asked me, what exactly is a closet audit? Or edit, as she described it, and she's exactly right. A closet audit is when you go through your entire closet and take out everything that doesn't make you look and feel fantastic. And that's what we're going to help you do today. To begin, you want to start with a completely clean space. So when I say everything out of your closet, I mean everything out. You want to start from fresh, and that means a brand new space with nothing in it. Then you want to put everything into categories, all of your clothes. The first one we're going to look at here is things to be repaired or altered. And I have an example for you here. This is a jacket, and it looks like it's not dated. So what you want to do is just repair the stitching here that needs to be repaired. If you don't want to repair it, that's fine, but don't leave it in your closet. So the first stage is to put everything that needs to be repaired into one pile. The next category is to take those things out that don't fit and put those all together. And that means things that are too big or too small. So if you're hanging on to those skinny jeans, now's the time to get rid of them. We'll find you a pair of jeans that fit you perfectly, but anything that doesn't fit doesn't belong in your closet or in your wardrobe. The next thing you want to put into categories is things that need to be stored. I often go into closets and there's wedding dresses or other, other items that we want to hang on to for sentimental value. You don't want to get rid of those, but they don't want to be in a working closet, in a wardrobe that works for you. So here's an example of a vintage dress that I bought years ago. I love the dress, but I put it in storage. It doesn't belong in my current closet. It's a great piece. It's a vintage piece. I want to hang on to it, but it's not going to be part of my everyday working wardrobe, so you want to make sure you get rid of things like that right away. So they just make your closet look more cluttered, and you don't want that when you're in a hurry in the morning and trying to get dressed. And our very last category is things that are dated. And I've got an example for you here. These are things that you've held on for a long, to for a really long time, and they might be great, but they're no longer in style. They don't belong in a working closet. So either you want to put them in storage, or you want to get rid of them all together, and that's really my suggestion. Even if they come back, there's going to be new touches that make them look on trend, and your old item will still look dated. So let's get rid of these and get some new things. When you start this process, if you're not going to be working with an image consultant, then use a friend or family member to help you. Use your mother or your sister. They'll help you stick to the categories, and when it's time to get rid of these things, they'll help you remain accountable. If you stick with these steps, you'll have a closet that's clutter-free. This will save you time, and it'll save you money. Thank you so much for joining this segment of The Style Strategist.